Good morning. It is Friday morning. We are supposed to get to 92 today. So I'm out here videoing the beginning of my video because it's dark in our house. We have our windows and curtains closed so that we can hopefully trap some of the heat out of our house. So I thought I'd show you my new shirt. Tim got this for me when we were in Idaho. We saw it in the local Walmart and I was like, I have to have that. So he got that for me. I'm also getting a new shirt for our anniversary that I picked out myself and it's pretty cool. It's a guinea pig shirt so I'm looking forward to it. I'll show it whenever I get it. But I am going in the house. It's so pretty outside today, right? I am going in the house and I am going to make some Birchbender's Keto Pancakes. Uh, they're not the best, but I have that whole bag. And I'm kind of wanting something different this morning and I don't want that to go to waste. So I think I'm going to do that. And probably I'll have some eggs, some fried eggs on the side just for even more protein. Um, and I'll definitely show you when I do. It's dark in our house, so I hope you'll be able to see it. I might have to bring my food out here. But, um, and then today, Tally told me she would let me video her make the, oh, just a second. Let me pause for one second, because we're having a little debate here, because Tally agreed to do the video because Claire's a little camera shy. But now Claire is saying that she might do it, so it's going to be a surprise. I don't know who's going to do it. Someone is going to video the, um, keto lemonade. So... Stay tuned, you don't want to miss out. So this is the um, Birch Benders Keto Pancake and Waffle Mix. We got this at Costco. Um, here's the macros and ingredients. So I'm just gonna make up, I guess, one batch. I don't know if Claire will have these or not, or if I'll just save some of them. I'll probably only eat two of the pancakes, depending. But yeah, that's going to be what I make up. Okay, we're using Claire's light so we can see what we're doing over here because it's so dark. Um, this is what the batter looks like. It's kind of a little chunky. In fact, I might add a little bit more water to it. I don't know. But it's two-thirds cup of the batter and or the powder and then a half cup of water. And I'm just going to cook them up in here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to add a little bit more water to that. Okay, so I did add more water, and I think it's a much better consistency now. Um, more typical of pancake batter. So as soon as this gets hot, I'll add butter. Then my pancake mix. Claire's making up some bacon. Doesn't that look so good? Mm. I love bacon. Me too. Next week, my husband and I are celebrating 27 years of marriage. And we are actually going to be on an overnighter. And he is just talking to me about where we're going and the hotel and everything. I am very excited. We've got our adult son living here. And we've got lots of neighbors. They can keep an eye on the kiddos. So, wow. Henry's got a nectarine in his mouth. Anyway, so I'm really excited about this because... We rarely, in fact, I think the only trips we've ever gone on as a married couple are to adopt our children, and then one time we went to San Diego together. That was quite a while ago. Um, we had our parents watching our kids, but we don't do a whole lot of that stuff because we just kind of hang out with our kids all the time, So, which is fun. I love it. We have awesome kids, but my husband's my best friend, so yeah, that'll be fun. Look at these pancakes. Focus in. Just gonna cook. As you see, I'm cooking them in a lot of butter. Um, yeah, this is just gonna be a nice change up for the for the morning. The last time I had these pancakes, Claire made them for me, so this is my first time making them. Oh boy. Okay, they're not easy to flip. I thought it was time to flip them, but uh, this might be tricky. I might have to turn the camera off to do this. Okay, sloppy tot of. Uh, Stop sloppy flip. <laughs> My goodness. Um, but they smell really good. And I bet they'll still taste okay. You know, I have to say, I probably will never buy this mix again. It tastes good, but for one thing, it's $14. And 
I really like keto pancakes that are just eggs and cream cheese and baking powder, so I think they're better for you, and also they're so cheap. So I probably will never buy this again, but it was fun to try it, and if I was someone who needed more of a floury type texture, this was perfect. Since I don't need that, then I'm okay with the keto pancakes. Um, so take it or leave it, or my review of this. Um, I wouldn't tell people to not buy it. I just probably won't buy it again because I'm a cheapskate and I have to be because we live on a budget with all of our children. And um, I'm also more of a just eat natural food type of a person. Um, so, But it was a fun and, and my husband bought these for me so I thought that was super kind of him and I definitely will finish the whole bag and not waste it or anything. But yeah, I probably wouldn't buy it again. But if you have $14 to spare and you like a more flowery type pancake, go for it. And they do look good and they smell good. And they definitely have more of a pancake texture than the cream cheese egg keto pancakes. So if that's what you're looking for. These are probably your thing. Okay, I'm just trying a little piece on camera. I think I've done this before. Um, whew. They're really good. I think they're better than I remembered. They definitely taste more like pancakes than um, the keto cream cheese one. But um, still, I don't think I can spend 14 bucks again. But they're good. They're good. So if you've got that kind of money, go for it. So one um, batch does, or one serve, uh, hell, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of the word. One serving does make six pancakes because I got four in here and then I got my two over here that I just put butter on and I'm about ready to put some sugar-free syrup on them. Okay, so I already, I already ate a piece of bacon. I'm not going to have eggs because Claire um, made bacon, so I'm going to do that instead. So I've got these two pancakes with a little bit of uh, sugar-free syrup and butter. Well, it'll be a total of five bacons, but that's four. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. Okay, I went ahead and I'm eating two more of these. I am just, you know, I'm, I'm hungry. And I wanted something different today. So, yep, I'm really going for my breakfast. So Tim and I went out on a date. And um, went to a Mexican restaurant. And I was mostly keto, but a little bit not keto. So I ended up not showing you guys what I ate. Um, because I didn't want to trigger anyone, but I also would like to just tell it like it is. We're having a nail painting party. I am painting my daughter's toenails and fingernails. Show me your nails. Yeah. Of course, taking off her old stuff. Yeah. Tally's doing something. <laughs> something. <laughs> this is Claire's lunch. Ham and cheese skewers. Check out this pile of hot dogs. Pile of hot dogs. Okay, I'm actually not going to eat probably because I still don't feel hungry from my lunch. So, but I just thought I would show you what hot dogs for a family of 10 looks like. Well, I'm going to... Um, Combine my video from today with the video tomorrow, um, and so you won't see this until tomorrow. So this is the end of the day for me. We're going to watch a movie.